Many seminars or discussions about the open up of Myanmar have become booming for some time, especially in investment and business opportunity aspects. However, one aspect which needs to be highlighted from this open up of the country is the development of media that has been under censorship by military battle regime for decades. With the reforms being made, the easing of media censorship is considered crucial, but many wonder whether it is the sincere act or not. On Monday night, Myanmar local and exiled journalists gathered at Foreign Correspondent Club of Thailand to give us the latest on media development in Myanmar. Joining the discussions are two local and two exiled journalists. The first one making a speech is the DVB's Thailand bureau chief. He told his experience as he was allowed to enter his home country after years of being in exile to attend media development conference with government officials, local, foreign and other exile journalists. He pointed out that the military-backed government announced a three steps initial plan for media reform in the conference. It, they said that there will be uh, 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 more relaxation and, and, and also uh, uh, what is that they are going to uh, abolish the censorship book. It's uh, called, used to go press scrutiny and registration division, so they will be no longer, no longer uh, exit, and then they will allow more access to media. So we are talking about whole new business or, or, or you know whole new media landscape, both public, private, and community sector and local sectors. However, To Zolat added these steps would be just the beginning for media reform by the regime. There will be a long way to go for media freedom in Myanmar. Panelists who are exiled journalists are able to go back to their homeland to cover stories said the atmosphere in Myanmar is different than their previous visits. However, they claim that the government is opening but only to a certain extent. It was 24 years it was in 24 years I made a first visit to my country and I made a second visit uh, this week. I was very happy to be back and uh, because I was granted a journalist visa and uh, I was there to do uh, my work. I don't made a social visit there. So I met a wide range of people and I had a busy schedule with everybody and meeting officials and very senior officials and, and officials from president office and um, Parliament and people from Parliament, but I think I came back with the more doubt because because I think things are going very slow, inconsistent in terms of reform process. For the local media, a founder and editor of Open News Weekly Journal and Myanmar Dana Business Magazine, based in Yangon, said the differences in treating the media by the military regime have been felt. He said in 2010 election, local media, along with some diplomats, were taken to polling booths on a bus like a guided tour to see people casted their votes and authorities counted the votes. But this time is different, as international observers are allowed to monitor the by-election. Local media is permitted to cover any polling booths at any constituency at any time. In this upcoming elections, we will have, we'll be able to send all the reporters to all the constituency, 48 constituency in 48 townships, and take a look at any polling booth at any time, all 12 days. So it looks like. Is it a real difference between the 2010 reporting and the upcoming election, at least for the local reporters? Yet, the development in media in Myanmar may not be as fast as many people expect. Panelists agree that it is just only the beginning. The regime is unlikely to be fully open for granting licenses for media or publication or answering tough questions, even coping with investigation done by journalists. I think, I think, no, we're not reaching to that stage yet. Media inside the country heavily practice self-censorship. They are very tame. The media outside is very aggressive and very critical and very independent. I think we both complement each other. And, and uh, I think media inside, there are a lot of courageous people, but, but those who are very courageous are end up spending in prison for years. And uh, now they're enjoying 
uh, some kind of relaxation. They can write a lot of taboo subjects and sensitive issues, but they are still, there are a lot of things that they cannot write, ethnic issues, corruption, big scandals, a lot of things they still cannot write in the, inside the country. One development of media reform in Myanmar lies upon the revision of media law that is expected around August. Nevertheless, Ong Zhao is still skeptical about this new law as only government officials are the ones who draft it without any involvement of media practitioners. The strange thing is that uh, no one is involved except the government officials. I think there has to be media, media experts, there has to be lawyer, there must be a media practitioner, there must be independent uh, former judi judicial people, you know, judge, and uh, including editors respected ones and international people organizations should involve to help to draft the media law but so far no one has seen it yet at the parliament well <laughs> media is not allowed to discuss and debate about the media law yet but media law where we uh, draft will be sent to uh, attorney generals, then uh, where, where we, you know, make uh, some minor changes and will be submitted to uh, to the parliament, and there will be debate. I don't think we'll be involved in, we'll be allowed to involve in the media laws. From the discussion, what likely to be seen in the near future in terms of media development in Myanmar is that local media will be more relaxed, freedom of the press in the country will be available, but only to a certain level, while exile media can still enjoy their freedom outside the country. Moreover, it is still uncertain whether foreign journalists will be granted a journalist visas easier than in the past. The significant step which inside and outside journalists need to keep an eye on is the revision of the new media law in August, whether it will truly be for the press or not. Arawitang Misang, reporting for ASEAN TV.